Isabella, the daughter of Michael Strahan, was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Isabella Strahan was diagnosed with a brain tumor on Thursday during an appearance on Good Morning America with her father, Michael Strahan. About a month into her first semester at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles, Isabella Strahan began to feel severe headaches. She was later diagnosed with metalloblastoma, a form of malignant brain tumor, in October of last year. By then, she was 18. When discussing her symptoms with Robin Roberts, Isabella Strahan said, I didn't notice anything was off until probably, like, October 1st. That's when I could no longer walk straight, and I definitely noticed headaches and nausea. The now 19-year-old realized something much more severe was wrong when she woke up vomiting blood on October 25th, some weeks after the migraine started, even though at first she believed she was having vertigo. Isabella Strahan decided to see the physicians when her symptoms didn't go away, and they found a rapidly growing tumor at the back of her brain. The tumor was bigger than a golf ball, measuring 4 centimeters. When Michael Strahan found out about his daughter's condition, he told GMA that it seemed unreal. He said, I don't really remember much. I only recall attempting to find the quickest route to Los Angeles. Furthermore, it doesn't seem genuine. Isabella Strahan had emergency surgery at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles a few days after her diagnosis. She had six weeks of radiation therapy after a month long recuperation period. Next month, in Durham, North Carolina's Duke Children's Hospital and Health Center, she is scheduled to start chemotherapy. It is what I will do next, Isabella Strahan said. I'm ready for it to start and be one day closer to being over.